Hello, my name is Casey Smith. I'm a student at Kennesaw State University. I'm a candidate in the Instructional Technology Education Specialist Program. My anticipated graduation is Spring 2017. Today I'm presenting my Capstone Project video. The title of my Capstone Project is BYOD Next Steps in Implementation. BYOD stands for Bring Your Own Device. A BYOD program encourages teachers, students, and other staff members to bring mobile devices, such as smartphones, laptops, and tablets, to school in order to use the devices for educational purposes. I completed my capstone project at Jane Macon Middle School. Jane Macon Middle School is located in Brunswick, Georgia. Jane Macon was established in 1958 and became a traditional middle school in 1975. In 2009, Jane Macon moved into a new two-story building located in a more rural area. Jane Macon is one of four middle schools in the Glen County School System. Jane Macon is also a Title I school with over 50% of the population on free or reduced lunch. I began my capstone project in my first year as the media specialist at Jane Macon Middle School. I noticed that teachers were not getting as much time in the computer labs as they wanted. Reading teachers are scheduled to use the grade level labs on Mondays and Fridays. Tuesday through Thursday, other teachers can sign up for the computer labs. However, three grade level labs, one laptop cart, and the media center lab still do not give teachers and students a lot of access to technology. With limited access, Jane Macon decided to implement a BYOD program which allowed students, teachers, and other staff to bring their personal devices to school in order to supplement the school's technology resources. During the fall semester of 2015, I noticed teachers typically only allowed students to use their devices as electronic readers. Devices were not being used for other educational purposes. J. Macon Middle School teachers need a professional development on how to effectively utilize the BYOD program. I developed BYOD Next Steps in Implementation in order to address the need for professional development concerning BYOD implementation. I researched three digital tools which I thought teachers could use with the BYOD program. I developed handouts, provided multiple professional learning sessions, and collaborated with teachers and students during the implementation phase. The first tool I introduced teachers to was Kahoot. I selected this tool to present first because I thought teachers would find it easy and very useful. Teachers did not have to think outside of the box on how to implement Kahoot. The second digital tool I introduced was the Intel Thinking Tools. Intel Thinking Tools are the Visual Ranking Tool, Seeing Reason Tool, and Showing Evidence Tool. The Intel Thinking Tools are more involved, so I spent most of my time working on the professional learning for these tools. The final digital tool I presented to teachers is Today's Meet. Today's Meet is the easiest tool to use. However, teachers had to be creative when figuring out how to implement Today's Meet in their instruction. Let's take a closer look at each digital tool. Kahoot is an interactive quizzing tool. Teachers project selected response questions while students utilize their devices, phones, tablets, laptops, or desktops to answer the questions. Students and teachers are provided with immediate feedback. Students can see the top five scores and screen names displayed on the board. Students earn points for accuracy and speed. Teachers can see how many students selected each answer, which enables remediation and or acceleration to occur during the Kahoot. Teachers can dig further into the data after each Kahoot because the results are saved for each student. Teachers can download or print the data. Intel Thinking Tools are collaborative tools which help students to cultivate higher order thinking skills. There are three Intel Thinking Tools, Visual Ranking Tool, Seeing Reason Tool, and Showing Evidence Tool. All three tools can be accessed from a single teacher account. Professional development for each tool was provided. Teachers create lists of words and or pictures, up to 14 items for the visual ranking tool. Students then rank these items based on whatever criteria the teacher provides. Students can work collaboratively or independently. To really develop students' analytical skills, teachers can require students to provide explanations for their ranking order. Students can even visually compare their list order to other groups. Teachers can assess students' work digitally or in print. The Seeing Reason tool allows students to explore causal relationships by creating a concept map. The teacher creates a problem or question and students work to create a concept map explaining the relationships in the scenario. 
Once again, students can work collaboratively or independently. Teachers can assess work digitally or in print. The Showing Evidence tool allows teachers to create a hypothesis or claim. Students must rate the quality of teacher-provided evidence for the claim. Then, students determine whether the evidence supports or opposes the claim. Finally, students develop a conclusion based on the claim and the evidence. To ratchet up the higher order thinking skills, teachers can provide the hypothesis or claim and require the students to develop the evidence. This is an excellent tool for teaching persuasive or argumentative writing. The final digital tool I created professional development for was Today's Meet. Today's Meet is a free online discussion forum which encourages teachers to utilize students' voices to drive instruction and learning. Students can have silent discussions, compare and contrast texts, ask questions without interrupting lectures, ask questions during labs, and so much more. Teachers and students do not have to have accounts to use Today's Meet. Teachers can create free accounts in order to have access to more features. Teachers can save or print transcripts for each Today's Meet room they have open. I've provided a table with the ways the tools were implemented with the BYOD program. One of the most creative uses of the digital tools was having students respond to a prompt during a film as an alternative to the traditional movie viewing guide. The task kept students completely engaged during the film as well as in the discussion. Teachers were informally surveyed about how they used the BYD program in their classrooms. Most teachers were overwhelmed with what students should and should not do, so the teachers typically only allowed students to use their devices for electronic reading. Informal observations, conversations, and discussions were used to evaluate the effectiveness of the professional learning. I was fortunate enough to collaborate with six teachers on implementing some of these dig digital tools within the BYOD program. Originally, I was to complete my capstone project in the spring of 2016. However, due to state testing and other factors, I did not complete my capstone project until fall 2016. My first professional learning session was at the April Media Specialist meeting. I presented the visual ranking tool to other media specialists in my district. They were able to use the tool, create accounts, and brainstorm ways to implement the tool in the classroom. I ramped back up my capstone implementation in the fall of 2016 during pre-planning and carried it through the remainder of the semester. I lost nine instructional days due to Hurricane Matthew and another storm, but I was determined to see the capstone project through. I originally planned for nine professional development sessions. However, I gave more sessions to include more people. I completed most of the sessions during one of the teacher's planning periods since there was not much interest in staying after school. Resource materials were saved to a shared drive for anyone to access. The best part of my capstone experience was collaboratively planning with teachers on how to implement these tools within the BYOD program. I enjoyed working with the teachers and students during the implementation phase. Completing the capstone project helped me meet the Georgia Professional Standards Commission Technology Standard 5.2 Professional Learning. Lawless and Pellegrino note how important the duration of professional learning is for its effectiveness. Professional learning cannot just be a one-time course. It must be continuous. That's why I spent so much time working with teachers after the professional learning sessions were complete. I wanted them to feel support throughout the entire implementation process. Completing my capstone project helped me to take special notice of the GPSC Technology Standard 4.1 Digital Equity. Atwell notes two important components to the digital divide in Becker, access to technology and use of technology. Students need to have physical access to technology, but they also need to have access to using the technology in a variety of ways instead of just for drill and skill practice. Kiger and Harrow found that parents are concerned that students without devices will be left out in a BYOD school. So during my capstone project, I made sure that students were not excluded from learning because of a lack of devices. During the implementation process, the teachers and I made sure school technology was ava available if students did not have a personal device. Truly, the implementation process showed how an effective BYOD program can supplement school technology and make resources more widely available.
Here are a few quotes from some of the teachers that I worked with. I loved using today's meet for students to make comparisons between the novel and the movie, The Giver. It was a great way for them to make a quick blog during the movie about similarities and differences right when they noticed it. Very easy to print off and grade their comments too. From B. Brown. The Intel Thinking Tools allow students to apply their critical thinking and reasoning skills in order to develop their answer. Mrs. Smith has done an excellent job sharing instructional practices with the students and teachers. The students were very engaged. M. Palmer. I found that Kahoot was a very exciting and engaging way for my students to be involved in the review process. Their readiness also paid dividends by the students scoring better on their tests, leading to higher class averages and better longer retention of the material and standards presented. B. Kelly. The next slide is my copyright acknowledgments for Kahoot, Intel Thinking Tools, and today's Meet. The following slide are a list, is a list of my references.